Hematidrosis. So, one day as you're racing home from school, you notice everybody is staring at you weirdly. You look down on yourself and notice that you're bloody all over, but you don't have any injuries, nor do you feel pain. You see, your skin has like a zillion sweat pores, and during any strenuous activity, the steam starts to build up and leak like a pressure pot which gets you sweaty. But instead of steam and sweat, people with this condition release actual blood when stressed like a freaking Bloody Mary. This situation is a rare condition called hematidrosis, which essentially means that you'll be sweating blood instead of sweat. Just imagine how awkward that would be to explain at the gym when everybody else is soaked with sweat and you're covered in literal blood. But don't panic, because it's really not as dramatic as it sounds and can be caused by a range of factors like hormonal changes, anxiety, and bleeding disorders. So take a deep breath, put on some calming music, and remember that it's just your body's weird way of handling stress. You're not dying, you're just enthusiastically expressing yourself. Hansen's Disease Deciding to spend your summer holidays in Kenya might have started out as a good idea, especially since you've never had the opportunity to interact with actual armadillos. But a few days after your vacation, you wake up later to some disturbing red-colored patches on your skin coupled with very sore, pus-filled lesions all over your arms and legs, turning you to look like a real-life connect-the-dots puzzle. You slowly begin to figure out that maybe this was not a very good idea after all. This is because you may have picked up an unwanted souvenir from your trip, a bacteria known as Mycobacterium leprae, and your body didn't fight hard enough to prevent it from turning into full-blown Hansen's disease, also known as leprosy. Now, this disease not only leaves you pockmarked with dreadful-looking open wounds from head to toe, it also completely damages the nerves, which travel throughout your body to transmit signals and messages between your brain and spinal cord. You begin to wish you never came on this trip because then you wouldn't have gotten infected. But it gets worse. You didn't even need to make the trip yourself to get it. The bacteria can be transmitted through coming in contact with body fluid, particularly droplets from an undetected or untreated case from nose or mouth. So if a family member who explored the safari comes home with leprosy as much as sneezed on you, you will definitely be getting the disease next. Luckily, it can be cured nowadays through the help of modern medicine, but it would be best if you just put on Nat Geo Wild if you really wanted to see some exotic animals and be really ready for an adventure. Hypertrichosis if you grew up obsessing watching fictional TV shows about werewolves, then you've probably gone outside on a full moon night and howled, thinking there's a chance you could actually become one. Sorry to break it to you, but werewolves don't exist in real life. However, some people are actually covered from head to toe with an excessive, insane amount of hair, and it doesn't come with any cool superhuman powers. Imagine having a full mane of hair like a lion but all over your body. Well, unfortunately, Unfortunately, your newfound fur isn't a supernatural transformation, but actually a medical condition called hypertrichosis. It's a weird and very uncomfortable condition that gets extremely sweaty, like a wool sweater in the summer. People with this condition would also develop serious itches and a good amount of razor bumps all over their bodies because of constantly trying to shave it off. It is a genetic disorder that can appear not only at birth, but during puberty or even later in life due to various factors like malnutrition medications, or other diseases. On the bright side, it is a totally unique experience, and if you are ever writing a pros and cons list, you should consider the fact that you have a permanent built-in Halloween costume forever. Hyperdontia You're sitting in the dentist chair trying to relax when the doctor suddenly looks up with a surprised look on his face. You are expecting to hear that your teeth need to be cleaned, but the guy practically tells you that you have more teeth than venom which is really not something you were ever expecting to hear. Forget that, you didn't even know that this was possible. To make matters worse, he tells you that the multiple teeth literally circled right around your skull because there was no more space left on your gums. Well, apparently you've got hyperdontia, a condition where your mouth decides to grow more teeth than necessary, which is not harmful, but it 
can get very unsettling. It's like your mouth is trying to start a tooth display collection, but without the neat display case. This happens when your baby teeth fall out and an extra tooth grows in its place, or a single tooth splits into two. Now, this condition isn't dangerous and wouldn't really affect your day-to-day -day living, but sometimes you may experience bouts of headaches because of the teeth in your skull. And if this is the case, then having them surgically removed would be the best course of action. Crohn's disease. Now you've heard the popular saying that nobody is above mistakes, right? Well, that goes for your immune system too. You see, your immune system is tasked with protecting your body from harmful bacteria, but sometimes it becomes really clumsy and confuses good, friendly bacteria for an enemy. This obviously won't go well for you because your immune system would practically launch an inside attack on the good guys, causing serious confusion and chaos in your digestive tract. You see, this confusion is called Crohn's disease and is basically like having an overachieving superhero that does more harm than good. This leads to inflammation, swelling, and a whole lot of discomfort like severe abdominal pain, explosive diarrhea, accompanied by intense fatigue and weight loss. Crohn's disease affects about 300 people out of every 100,000 in Western Europe and North America. Although the condition can't be cured, the symptoms can be managed if you stay away from certain foods and habits that can trigger the confusion. So if you drink a bottle of Coke and feel like your insides are suddenly in a superhero battle, it might be your Crohn's disease sidekick making an appearance. Todd's Syndrome one minute you're walking along the street and whistling a familiar tune, and the next you suddenly feel like you've fallen down a rabbit hole where everything seems distorted and unreal, like you're living in a dream. You see strange creatures and people, and you start to wonder if you're going crazy. You are not alone, because about 200 other people worldwide are experiencing the same exact symptoms, and it's a rare condition known as Todd's Syndrome, or Alice in Wonderland Syndrome. This condition affects how your brain perceives reality. It's kind of like having imaginary friends, but instead of just seeing them, you're living in their unreal world too. That's practically all in your head. It's a strange and disorienting feeling, but over time the symptoms fade away, you'll be back to your normal self. Of course, that doesn't mean it can't come back. Todd's syndrome is a bit like a mischievous cat. It can disappear for a while, only to pop back up when you least expect it. There's also no specific cause for it, so it could really just be a glitch that slows down the energy levels of your brain's nerves. With the right treatment and a healthy dose of skepticism, you can learn to navigate this strange and wonderful world. Renfield Syndrome You know how you'd normally just start to crave cake or sweets? Be thankful, because some people crave for something more exotic and just downright freaky. They have an intense urge to taste and drink blood instead. So imagine craving for a smoothie, but made of blood. Talk about real-life vampirism. This condition is called Renfield Syndrome and is classified as a mental disorder that can drive people to do extreme things. The craving for blood can be so overwhelming that a person might feel the urge to harm themselves and drink their own blood. If you have this and it progresses without appropriate treatment, you might start craving the blood of animals or other people. Very few people have been diagnosed with this syndrome because most people with it would rather keep it to themselves. But who likes to see themselves in the National Daily either? A person with this syndrome would most likely lack red blood cells in their blood, and scientists believe that this is what makes them crave it in external sources. Sadly, it's not something one can simply snap out of because it is a serious condition that needs treatment, therapy, and understanding. Hemianopsia so you wake up one morning ready to conquer the world, only to suddenly realize half of that world has just completely vanished. It's as if someone took a giant eraser and decided to wipe off the left or right side of everything you see. That's exactly what happens with hemianopsia, a condition that can come after a stroke, brain tumor, or injury. Technically, your eyes still work, but your brain can't see or process half the information. It would feel like your vision is completely covered in half by a really dark curtain no matter how much you try to look. Living with this condition can feel like playing a never-ending game of peekaboo with reality. One moment you see the nice old lady walking her dog, and the next she's gone, only to reappear a split second later as you turn your head. 
Simple, everyday tasks like reading, driving, and even walking become really difficult because you have to constantly turn 360 degrees to make sure that you didn't miss something that's directly in front of your eyes. Recovery depends on the cause of your sudden blind spot, but if it's from swelling in the brain, surgery and treatment can help increase your chances of seeing properly again. However, if your condition is in the form of a stroke, then the only choice you have would be to learn how to see with half your vision gone. While I agree that all these conditions sound really freaky, one of the craziest conditions you can have is a case of not joining our Discord server. So join today and get cured from this absurd condition. Epidermal Navis This condition is basically your skin's way of deciding to get a tattoo, but instead of using the usual boring method of just ink, it decided to grow an entirely new skin patch. Now, this patch is a non-cancerous one that occurs because of an overgrowth of your skin's outer layer. It looks like a fancy birthmark that has a different texture from the rest of your skin and may appear flat or slightly raised, smooth or rough, and it can come in a variety of colors from tan and brown to black. It's as if your skin wanted to stand out at a party and chose to wear a fancy outfit. Epidermal nevi can be small and subtle, or they can cover large areas of the body. They might take on interesting shapes like a tiny island in a sea of regular skin, or they might form linear patterns following the lines of Blaschko, which are invisible lines of skin cell development. You could always joke that your skin is following a secret map that only it knows about. There's usually nothing to worry about if you have epidermal navis because it can be harmless, except for the times when it gets really itchy and uncomfortable, and that could easily be taken care of by constantly applying moisturizers. Cotard Syndrome AKA the walking dead syndrome is a really disturbing condition where a person is utterly convinced that they are dead, missing body parts, or do not entirely exist. Just imagine looking at yourself in the mirror, seeing your reflection, but you are completely convinced that it is a lifeless corpse. If you have Cotard syndrome, your skin might appear very pale and your eyes will look very hollow and devoid of life. You might also feel a cold internal emptiness as if your veins are lacking blood, and a sense of overwhelming stench of rotting flesh emanating from your own body. It's a really freaky and scary thing to experience, and everyday people with this syndrome live with the sad affirmations that they don't exist. They may even refuse to eat because they're convinced that their body doesn't require sustenance because it's already deceased. Imagine having a conversation with a person who is totally convinced that their organs are decaying and that they are dead, even though you can see the living and breathing just fine. The exact cause is unknown, but it is believed to be linked to the aftermath of multiple mental health episodes. It's like your mind is a puzzle and the pieces just don't fit together anymore. The syndrome can isolate you from reality and loved ones, and the sheer intensity of this delusion can lead to dangerous behaviors as you may neglect self-care or even seek ways to reconcile your perceived undead state with reality. Ichthyosis it's been two years since you met the love of your life, and you finally decided to pop the big question and take things to the next step. However, you both go to the hospital to get a medical evaluation, and the doctor tells you that getting married might not be such a great idea because your genes are not really compatible. However, you decide to explicitly ignore your doctor's orders because, after all, love conquers all. Well, not in this case, because you'd most likely give birth to a child with ichthyosis. This is basically a condition that makes your skin look very dry, scaly, and thickened like fish scales. It's basically what would happen if Aquaman decided to have a baby with a Titus fish. In the more severe forms, such as Harlequin ichthyosis, a newborn skin can be covered in thick, plate-like scales that crack and split, leaving deep, open wounds that can be prone to infections. The infants often display bright red skin encased in these hardened armor-like plates that make even the slightest movements painful. In milder forms like ichthyosis vulgaris, the skin might appear dry and flaky, especially on the arms, legs, and back. 
These scales can range in color from white to brown and might become more pronounced in winter or dry climates. The constant shedding of skin flakes can be uncomfortable and embarrassing, as it might leave visible traces on clothing and surroundings. While there is no cure, a serious skincare routine is very necessary to make the condition more bearable. You should apply unhealthy amounts of moisturizers, creams, and ointments to help manage the symptoms and improve the appearance of the skin. Sadly, ichthyosis is very painful to experience. People who suffer from it merely get used to the pain of it over the years and just have to learn how to manage it. Tourette's Syndrome Now, just imagine your body is like a jazz band where everything is playing in perfect harmony, but then sometimes one musician just starts to play a wild solo out of nowhere. That is exactly what having Tourette's Syndrome feels like. Tourette's Syndrome is basically a condition where your brain misfires and sends out random signals that make you do movements called motor tics or make sounds called vocal tics that you didn't plan to do. It's like your brain has a sneaky prankster who loves surprises. It's a neurological miscommunication that sets off a chain reaction of uncontrollable movements and sounds that would literally feel like your body betraying you because you can't control the signals or movements. One minute you're standing still, and the next you break out into a dance without control, or sometimes if you have a voice tick, you might just randomly let out a wail or sentence unprovoked. Sometimes the ticks like to mix things up and get a bit fancy, so it can be a combination of random movements and sounds, like doing a hop while saying bark. Although there is no cure for Tourette's syndrome, relaxation techniques and talk therapy can help manage your symptoms and help you regain some control. 